Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a Pivx wallet. So I'll jump right into it. The first step is to find the correct domain name. I'll show you how I do that. In my browser, I'm gonna go to coinmarketcap.com. And in the search bar right here, I'm gonna type in Pivx, which is spelled P-I-V-X and it pops up right here, so I'll click that. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so I could click their website right here. And what you're gonna notice is it takes me to pivx.org. So go ahead and search that yourself, pivx.org, P-I-V-X.org. And if you do, just make sure you don't misspell it and confirm it's a HTTPS website and verify it has a green padlock here, which says it's a secure connection. And it is, so that's great. The second way to find the website is to go on their Twitter profile. So I'll show you how I do that. Back on CoinMarketCap under Pivx, I'm gonna scroll down here to their social and click that next to Markets and Charts, click Social. I'm gonna scroll down so I can see their tweets and this link right here will direct me to their Twitter profile. So I'll click that. And as you can see here, they have about 60,000 followers. And the link that they promote in their bio here is pivx.org. So it's the same website. We're good there. I'm going to exit out of this for now, along with Twitter and CoinMarketCap. We're going to move on to the next step, which is to choose the correct wallet. And all you have to do to download it is scroll down a little bit to where it says download wallet here and you're gonna go ahead and click that. And go ahead and scroll down a little bit so that you could see their options here. But they have Windows, Mac, Linux, a light desktop wallet, and GitHub. Before we download anything, I do wanna be clear that the Pivx wallet is the main wallet highly recommended for everyone. And it's developed and maintained by the Pivx core development team. So let's move on to step number three, which is to download the wallet. So at this point in the video, go ahead and choose the appropriate download for you. I'm using a Mac desktop, so I'm gonna be choosing Mac. If you're using a Windows or a Linux, that's fine. Just keep following along with me in the video. In this video, I'm just gonna choose the light desktop wallet. And the reason why is because I'm noticing it just makes sense to just download the light version, especially if you don't have you know, 10 gigabytes or 200 gigabytes to store on your computer. It's much easier to download the light wallet. And that's what we're gonna do for this video, which is to download the light desktop wallet right here. And there's Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Mac version. And if you look at the bottom left here, you'll notice that this Pivx light wallet is downloading and it's gonna take about two minutes to do. So great, it looks like it's done downloading. So we're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. And all you have to do is click the download, which you downloaded and click it once. And it's gonna start opening now. And now it's asking me to drag this into my applications folder. So I'll go ahead and do that. and I'm gonna try opening it by double clicking on it. And it's saying it can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. The way around that is to click okay, and you could exit out of this, and I'll hide this. The proper way to open the Pivx wallet is to go to your file, go to your applications, and then find Pivx Lite wallet here. And then right click, and then click open. And then it says, are you sure you wanna open? And then click open and give it some time to load up. And here's the Pivx introduction. So great, it says Pivx is secure, the first coin with BIP38 encryption and decryption of private keys. If you click next, it says it's private. It's the first coin to combine proof of stake with zero coin protocol for truly untraceable transactions. There's a 60 second block time so Pivx transactions are confirmed within one minute or one second with SwiftX. 
and there's Trusted Nodes Federation. Trusted Nodes Federation, which made this light POS wallet possible, you can be relied on or you can create your own trusted node. So great, I'm gonna click next here and it says create or restore your wallet. I'm gonna click create new wallet and if you're new, do the same thing. However, if you already have an account, go ahead and choose the restore wallet option. However, go ahead and click create new account and it's saying here, recovery passphrase. Click the icon to reveal the 24 word passphrase. So I'm gonna click on this I here, and it's giving me words that I could write down. It says, write down the passphrase in the correct order and keep it secret. Anyone with it will be able to restore and access your wallet. So from what I'm aware of, this reads left to right. So write this down in order, casino, bubble, police, eight. However, for you, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be different words. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is write that down. And then once you write it down, you're gonna click next. And then it's saying to choose a password. So great. At this point in the video, I wanna be clear that our team uses password managers. The one that we specifically use is keypass.info and it's mandatory that you use a password manager. And the reason we like keypass.info is because it's free and it's open sourced. And what you could do is generate a very strong password from there. And then you're gonna want to copy and paste that password into here for the wallet password. And that's how you properly set up new accounts, especially in crypto, is you wanna use your password manager and make sure you get your password from your password manager. So once you do that, copy and paste your password here and then click create wallet. And voila, here is the wallet. As you can see here, it says there's zero PIV here and there's a my wallet section. I could send right here. I could choose the amount and I could choose a USD or not. I could choose the amount here. I could enter the PIV address here, choose a description, customize the fee, and then send. I could do payment request, so I could choose the amount I want to request, add a description if I want, and then create request. There's an address book here, and a settings option here, where I could change my password, create a backup, restore wallet, export account, watch only mode, maintenance, network monitor, and options. And on the very bottom here, it says that it's synchronizing and it's at 49% and that the wallet is locked. And if you look on the top here, it says receiving address. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and show you that this is my public key and I could simply copy and paste that. Just click this and then it's gonna copy the address and that address is public. I could share that with anyone I want who wants to send me PIVX or who wants to send me PIV. So that covers it. In this video, I am not showing you how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it and even show you around a little bit to show you what the user interface looks like. And there's one more step that I wanna show you, which is step number five, which is to verify that you can open and close the wallet. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna drag my screen recorder to the top left here, and I'm gonna choose PIVX Lite Wallet up here and click quit. And it's no longer there anymore. So what I'm gonna do is reopen it by going to my finder, going to my applications, and then finding PIVX Lite Wallet right here. I'm gonna right click and then click open. And here it is one more time. Perfect. So great, you successfully downloaded and installed the PIVX wallet. And that concludes my video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and you could get 10% off using my promo code DENNY2018. Check out the display address on the screen right here or the links below.
And you could also follow me on Twitter. My social handle is Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a Pivx wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, leave me a comment on Twitter. And thank you so much for watching. Have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.